All right, hi everybody. Today we're just going to do a quick video on how to make a new profile for our haptics in SimHub. What we do is we go down to Shake It Motors, click that. We're in the effects profile and you can see the various effects that I have either on or off. For example, off is ABS active, but if I want to turn it on, I just click the switch and it's on, but I'm not using that. And I have acceleration G-force, deceleration G-force, gear shift, road impact, road rumble, road vibration, wheel lock, and wheel slip. But I can turn on any of the other ones I want if, if I want to do that. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is, because I'm in a default profile, is I'm going to clone this profile. So I'm going to clone it, and I'm going to clone it specifically for iRacing. There we go. And all of these effects that I have on my default program that I like, I'm going to activate them all in my clone and say OK. So now I have an iRacing profile. It still has all the same effects here. I'm going to jump over to Motors Output. And the two things that I have going for me on my rig are the Next Level Racing HF8 Haptic Gaming Pad. It's a seat cushion. So I'm going to enable that one. And I'm also going to enable the Symagic Haptic Pedal Reactors, because that's why I also have those on my throttle and my brake pedal. Now I gotta go into each one and do some tuning here. So I click the little drop down, and you can see that a lot of things are checked on and some are off. And this is not what I had in my default profile, so I have to go and change things to the way I want them in iRacing. So in iRacing, I don't want the ABS on. Something I can play with later if I want to do that. For acceleration G-force, sure, I'll leave that on in my um, seat cushion, but I'm going to put it for the whole seat. So it's all on the rear part of the seat. I think I'll put it on the back, not on the on the seat. Okay, custom effect. I don't have any custom effects, so that's all off. Decelerating G-force. I'm going to do the same thing. Just put it on the, the back of the seat cushion. Gear grinding. No, I don't want that. Gear shift. Yeah, I'll put it on all, all of them. It'll give me a little jolt in the seat when I shift gears. Jump landing. No. Road impacts, yes, I do want that. Um, I'll put them on the seat, that makes sense. So front left goes with front left. Front right goes with front right. Rear left goes with rear left. And rear right goes with rear right, so that's perfect. Road rumble, same pattern. Road vibration, same pattern. RPM, speed, speed with cornering, static wind, traction control active, all that for me right now is off. Well, bear with me for a second while I click these all off. Now you can always come back here and turn something on, test it, see if you like it. But for me right now, if you have too many effects on, it just blurs them all together and then you don't know what, what you got going. Um, wheel lock and wheel slip. I think I'll leave that on and I'll put that on the the uh, the seat and uh, I have wheel lock again front left with front left front right with front right etc the pattern and then the same thing for wheel slip so there we go that's my force field pad my haptic gaming pad HF8 from Next Level Racing now I'll go to my Symagic haptic pedal reactors open that up and you can see I have, uh, I'm going to put on the amount I've got. Uh, I don't have a clutch pedal reactor. I only have brake and throttle. And I'm going to put the wheel lock on the brake. So when I'm braking and I lock up the wheels, I'll get a vibration in the brake pedal. So I can ease back on the brake pedal, which is amazing. Amazing. Just for the immersion and for for driving. And for wheel slip, I'll do that on the throttle pedal. And I have these all set at 100% right now. So 100% is fine for me. No other effects for the pedal haptic pedal reactors. 
Now I can go back to the effects profile, and if I want to adjust the strength of any of these effects, I can. But I find for the haptic gaming pad, it kind of needs the 100% strength in order to feel the motors in the, in the padding. So I leave those at 100. For the wheel lock and wheel slip, which is working on the, 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 the pedal reactors as well as the seat pad, but mostly I want this for the pedal reactors. Again, I have that 100%, so it gives me a nice solid vibration when I'm walking the wheels or the wheel is slipping under acceleration. So there you go. I have it all done. It's it's saved automatically like this. I can go into my profiles manager. I can click on a, a different profile if I want. Load that one. And I can see for this one I've got some 100 but this is only at 75 and I can go back into the the tuning and change things around if I want for it. So I've got now all of these different profiles that I have for different games or different types of cars. So there you go. It's that easy in, in SimHub. Okay, thanks for watching.